Chad. Chicken and Chad. C head. C had how you like it? The chit ad. <laughs> all right, I'm impressive. Glad, we're glad that you can't fathom how we pulled off Timmy Ferris. I tell you what, it was, it a was thing. if it weren't for those pesky kids and their little dog, <laughs> I'd have gotten away with it too. <laughs> we were fortunate enough to be invited to his party out in San Francisco. They paying a high enough dollar amount, and you can get invited just about anywhere. We bought a hundred copies of his book, mm -hmm. and he said, "Come on out, fellas." Recognize us from the Cold Remedy Challenge. Let's have a potty. We had a little warm, uh, warm reception. We did. It was yeah. a good time. It was, it was a good, good time. time. Uh, enjoy. They were doing a great job of getting the nuts and bolts of what we do, and then throwing in the fun stuff, the interview, the challenges, yada yada yada. We did try. No, we tried to buy something. We didn't try to sell anything, and there were, we we explored the thought of selling something mm -hmm. to Pawn Stars, um, but there were two technical challenges. A we wanted to take only carry-on luggage because yep. we hate checking anything. Yep. And um, so that meant it had to be small. Right. And B, then it would have to be unique enough that it might actually make the show. Right. And C, anything that we have that is that unique and that small. We'll probably keep. Right, we didn't want to sell. <laughs> so, and we didn't want to go through the whole BS yeah. of trying to sell them when we were really going to be like, well, no, like, I won't yeah. sell you that thing that's worth $1,000 for 500 right. which I think, you know, the are absolute donkeys for the people who are like, nope, I'll just keep it. If you're not gonna, right. if it's worth a thousand and you won't give me a thousand, right? I, and you, you know, not understanding the man needs to make a profit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we, we were donkeys on our own. We didn't need to show that on <laughs> national television. Yeah. Book Have you read the E Myth? Uh, maybe I've started it. I I've not started it, and I know that it's been recommended to me several times. I think there's one also... by the corporate coach that we hired at one point right. in time, and then some several other people. I think I there's just... another one like E Myth Revisited. I would agree with that, right? And it's probably just the updated version of it. Obviously, whatever. So right. yes, we should we should read. It's just something about that title that just I am I am unwarrantedly biased against that book already. <laughs> like it's like. Eh. Like, I do right. not want to, you know, and it, I haven't even looked at the book yet. You know what I mean? It has, I haven't even seen it, and I'm not interested. But yeah. I need to, because it's been recommended to me so many times. Right. I mean, I think he's trying to debunk the entrepreneurial myth, thus the I email. see. Okay. You know, I, maybe right. not. Well, I, all right. Well, well, I'll open it up, and I'll, I'll read it. Right. Uh, do you matter how great design will help people love your company is a good one. Uh, I have not heard of that one. I don't either, but man, you want to talk about something that resonates with me instinctually. I think... Great design needs to be incorporated into everything, and I know that that at times I stress uh, or overemphasize that in our business. Like there are times when I was like, "Dude, it doesn't matter," and I'm like, "No, it does." Like design is really important. So I would like to read that book. I think that one, to me, I'm going to grab before I grab E Myth. Probably not what you'd expect from the title. Curious what you think about it. So okay, well we'll see. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe maybe I'll hate it and love email. Ah, you know, Who knows? I am predictably irrational, That's Chad. True. I am That's predictably true. irrational. So anyway, uh, continue with the suggestions, man. I'll let you later. Thanks, Chad. Peace. So see you, buddy.